Barbara Melchert and I'm from the Department of Molecular Pharmacology of the University of Groningen. Today's date is March 20th and this is a recorded class for the course Pathology and Immunology for the first year pharmacy students. I originally gave this class on March 3rd but I re-recorded it for a complete set of online lectures. In total I had three classes on immunology and one on lung pathology and I have uh, chopped these up in smaller segments for these recordings. So what will I be talking about in all these recordings? Well, first of all, um, the immunology topics. I will be uh, talking about the history of immunology and an introduction to key immune cells and structures. Then in a further set of um, recordings, I'll talk about the innate and adaptive immunity. And um, then I'll talk about pathologies of the immune system. And I've made a special set of uh, recordings on the coronavirus, the reason why we have all these on online lectures now. What can you use um, to study um, this topic? Well, we have two books. We have Human Physiology, and then uh, you need to study chapter 24. And we have Robin's Basic Pathology, and then you can read Chapter 5 as background reading. If you have questions, you can't ask them anymore during the class, um, but we have made an online forum on Nestor that you can use to ask your questions. Um, and this can be found uh, under the Pathology course on the left um, by clicking on Question Area as you can see here. What can you expect of the exam? Well, um, there will be around five questions per immunology class. So originally there were three immunology class, so around 15 questions about immunology and around six questions about lung pathologies. It will be a multiple choice exam and uh, we'll post practice questions on Nestor. So why do we have immunology in the pharmacy curriculum? Well, to understand and to develop drugs, you need to understand disease mechanisms. And many of the new drugs these days are derived from the immune system. Um, to understand the pharmacokinetic and dynamic properties of these new drugs called biologicals, you need to understand immunological processes. And to show you um, that these um, biological drugs derived from the immune system are getting more important. There's this graph here showing that the number of uh, biological drugs between 2004 and 2016 has doubled up to a quarter of all drugs sold. Um, but why would you want to do immunology in the pathology course? Well, the definition of pathology is the science of the causes and effects of diseases. Um, and I think the immune system is a very important component in that. Actually, I would like to argue that the uh, definition of pathology is the science of the causes and effects of diseases caused by the immune system failing to maintain homeostasis. Homeostasis is balance. Uh, I think that every disease involves the immune system in some way or another. And I'm not the only one thinking this. Uh, within the cancer field, um, people have started to move towards uh, immunology as well. Um, because it used to be that um, when you developed cancer, people would ask, what kind of cancer do you have? Um, but now people are asking more and more what is your immune system doing to fight cancerous cells? Because a cancer develops because your immune system didn't, um, wasn't able to keep um, the tissue in a good condition and uh, some cells escaped and started developing a tumor and your immune system was not able to stop that. And I think this is not only the case for cancers, but actually for any disease. Um, in any disease, you would want to ask the question, what is your immune system doing to fight this disease? What wasn't it doing? Why did it develop? 
So the immune system is a system that tries to keep your tissues in balance, in homeostasis. And when the balance is disturbed, it will try to restore it as soon as possible. So what do we have around us that could threaten this balance? Well, there's a lot, of course. Uh, the immune system particularly defends you against invaders. And I guess now everybody's attention is uh, focused on viruses, the, and particularly the coronavirus. But also there's bacteria, there's parasites, and there's fungi that could uh, invade you and cause disease. But the immune system is also important for the removal of things that you not, no longer need, like dead cells or um, cells that become tumorous or um, proteins or molecules that um, have changed, they're not functional anymore. Um, like when they develop when you age or um, for instance, when you smoke, you develop a lot of uh, molecules that have been damaged or changed in a way that they're not functional anymore and need to be removed. But also artificial objects here, a nail in somebody's head, your immune system will try to remove this intruder. Also with splinters, your immune system will slowly try to get this splinter out of your uh, tissue. So um, we'll uh, discuss all these uh, things in more details in the upcoming online classes.